to San Luis Obispo to help Reagan do her project for the California missions. Right now we're on the 101 and we need to drive about 160 miles or so and then we'll have to get more directions. Reagan, do you have anything to say? Mission San Luis Obispo de Tolosa and uh, my cameraman is this guy. Hello. Peterson. <laughs> and I'm Reagan Sydney Peterson. This is the garden. Here's the sanctuary shaped chapel. That was not originally like that though. They added that part when they started to restore it. To, made of Tule. But then more than three Indian attacks and the Indians burnt it down. So they decided to change it to be stone, which wasn't as flammable, so that they'd be more safe in the missions. The mission was renovated so many times. This is what the old wall looked like. It wasn't as pretty and modern. This says the mission is in California with the result of a blending of religious desires and political aims. Uh, Franciscan friars, especially Juan Parasero, were eager to found missions among the peaceful Indians. The Spanish government was troubled by Russian settlements and English interests in California. So Spain looked to relations to strengthen. Sorry, in 1769, the Friars more interested in converting the Indians than 
worrying about the Spanish Empire, eagerly embarked on a venture that resulted in 21 missions along the California coast, including ours, Mission San Luis Obispo de Tolosa in 1772. Very nice. And the original doors? for small birds and deer and bears. Bears were a big problem for the Indians because they were, there were a lot of them and less Indians. So when the Englishmen came, they did help the Indians by This is a chopping tool. It was attached to a stick for gathering and cooking food. Large stone balls were used as canoe anchor weights. <laughs> Tar and abalone shell was collected on the beach and used for waterproofing a canoe or tamal in the Chumash language. Stone fishing weights were used with tule or animal skin nets. So they're kind of just rocks. Yeah. Is a rattle of deer skin. A rattle of deer skin wound on a stick held mussel shells filled with pebbles to make a musical instrument. So that is the deer skin wrapped stick. And these are berries from the Manzanita tree and they were used in teas. This looks like the sun, so it looks pretty cool. Or a stick person that's fat and has armpit smell. And uh, shell strands were beaded uh, on necklaces and stuff. And this says that shell strands and beads were probably money and used for exchanging with other tribes. So there's also money. So that fat stick person with armpit hair or stench is a person that is worth a lot. So yeah, my finger. Okay, and this is what it looks like when they're beaded on jewelry. And this is some animal fur. Poor animal. Oh. These are some more mortal and pestles and this is a really big bowl with a bowl. It was used to grind corn, and so it was very helpful. So these are some of the past pastors. Uh, 
Pastor's father, one of Arathea, which was the founder of this mission. And as we go along the line, there's like generations closer to now. But this one really caught my attention because he is wearing what looks like a pink dress, but it probably has something to do with the religion. That's because he's a Monsignor. It's a sign of rank. This is a picture of before its renovation, and you can see the old adobe walls. It's it does definitely need some help. Okay, this part was added during renovations. They added a gift shop because this is a museum now. Um, they have, ooh, they have play cards. <laughs> kind of cool, has all the different missions. And they have videos about it. Bells what was the big deal from the bells? The yeah. Here's little bells. The bells. The real, which was like, it was a trail, funny you asked, and the little bells you see on the sides of the highway show that that was parts of the El Camino Real. It is also known as like the King's Road or something like that. And it connected the missions. It was like a trail to get to all the missions, just to walk. It was normally a day's journey, a very long, hard day's journey. And I am filming yet again because my dad likes this book. There he is. And then this is another book that he pointed to. And we're still in the gift shop, and this is cool. It's like Indian art. Out in the gardens where there's less people and it's not as noisy. And I am sorry for that noise, but I can't make everyone leave. So, yeah. Um, this is a well, but now people threw money in it. So, there's money there now. And I think the garden is really pretty. Uh, I like being outside better than inside, so this is my favorite part of the mission. These flowers are weird. And we're coming up to the bells, so yeah, they're right there. Bells are sometimes thought to be ancient artifacts because they're obviously old. Okay, this is the Mission Parish Hall, so, uh, it looks like a meeting room, I guess, or a place where... This is a little fountain with very dirty water. I like this fountain. Parish Center. 751 Palm. Okay, so this is like to go into the church, sort of. And so I'm not going to go in. Because it's just like a literal office. Is the old mission church. My dad had us go in there on Sunday for Palm Sunday. And most of the stuff is Christian. And are, they speak mostly in Spanish. No English, just Spanish. So my friends who can speak it, meaning Andrew, you could probably understand what they're saying. So we're gonna go in. The church is the only church and all the missions at least that has an L shape. Uh, but the, the it didn't used to be shaped like an L because that 
was added when they were doing renovations. Okay, now we're in the front. They're closed because they're doing some, they're doing Sunday school on Monday, but they do it every day here since the station. Of here, but I'm supposed to do it, so I'm in tour bus. of Father Sarah. He is the founder of all the California missions, as you should probably know if you were listening to our study books. And this is a cross. It's very tall. And okay, so as you can see this is in like the middle of a city, right? You are right. So, if this isn't a city, then why is there some big old time mission? That is because that is where it is a good place to have things. It has water. Uh, there's like a little creek down there. Um, but fortunately, they left the mission alone. There are some bells and there were only two bell ringers in the whole mission years. And I do not remember how long each one served, but like one was like 74 years and the other was 64. It's pretty cool how there were only two. The statue. Less modern buildings are near this mission though because they wanted to keep it a little bit less modern it's still a very important historical landmark and speaking of the old mission and when it was founded it says old mission san luis obispo de tolosa founded 1772 by father guanapara Serra, fifth of the 21 california missions it's a church museum book and gift shop and these are just windows but here this entire part of this of this part of the mission was taken out by the englishmen and then when it was restored they put it back in so i think that was our second to last stop i thought that was pretty cool so yeah it was a uh, dedicated november 1970 Mayor Kenneth E. Schwartz, Councilman Emmons Blake, Myron J. Graham, Donald Q. Miller, Author F. Spring, Director of Building and Planning Ronald D. Young, Landscape Architect, Richard B. Taylor, Contractor Madonna Construction Company. I think that was the place that rebuilt parts of the mission. So, thank you, Madonna Construction Company, for keeping this mission alive. Since San Luis Obispo de Tolosa is in a place where it used to be called the City of the Bears, um, this is a, oh yeah, there's Steelhead here, and then that lake over there. Um, this is a Chumash child sitting by bears. Um, hi, cameraman, Christopher Peterson. <laughs> and star of the show, me. <laughs> me is Reagan, Sydney Peterson. If Tom was going to say, who's me? Right. A Lucky Coins production.